home of this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid. And the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. We have already started here. Oh, it's Dembele. Ruben Neves. That is Conte. Out for a throw. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Ruben Neves. Bernardo Silva. Ruben Diaz. Gonzalo Guedes. Bruno Fernandes. Shot a goal! That was mighty close. has gone presumably for offside and it's Cristiano Ronaldo Bruno Fernandes Gonzalo Guedes shapes the shoot goal Portugal and Portugal score first well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. France didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Mendy does well there, alert. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Good clearance and very necessary. Mendy drives it forward. Pepe gets it away. Sidibe. Gonzalo Guedes with the foul. And here's Fakir. And here's Dembele. Good ball, it's found its target. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he's had a go! Conte. Conte plays it forward. Bernardo Silva, Bernardo Silva, 
goes looking looks to clip it forward timely intervention forward it goes oh, he's managed to get himself offside Portugal have it back and they can go again Bernardo Silva Gonzalo Guedes showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out decent progress down the left and that has put pay to that City Bay gets into the right position to enter. Oh, terrible pass. Gonsal and the shot. It's in. And with that goal comes comfort. Just so calm under pressure. Gonzalo Guedes really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Portugal get themselves a two-goal cushion. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Finds himself eased off the ball. And here's Dembele. Fakir. Gets up to head it! And that's a goal kick. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Bernardo Silva. And it's Ruben Neves. Oh, real chance! Shoots! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Gonzalo Guedes. Baran clips one through. And now they can launch a counter. Gets it back. Griezmann. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. He's got options out wide. And the whistle goes for half-time. See your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Here we go again, then. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done. But that will be the target. Get back massively! He scores! The second half off to a spectacular start! France are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. This is threatening to become a really good game. A diving header! It's in! Spectacular header. He really flung himself at that. He had a choice of trying to volley that or get his head to it, and I'm pleased to say he took the right option. That's a great goal.
that has changed the dynamic somewhat. Well, everything is going to plan, Peter. A day for a, a regular managerial heartbeat, at least for one. Mbappe. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Portugal have a free kick. And here's Dembele. And here's Kante. A oh, great ball. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Goes down, but nothing given. Oh, real danger here. He'll try from distance. Give it a go, but off target. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Bruno Fernandes. Portugal have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Look at the play on the break. Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. Bruno Fernandes. Not easily shrugged off the ball. Ruben Diaz positions himself well and cuts it out. Defenders on the back foot. He's got the ball, he's got the space. He's gone for goal. What's Dembele? And here's Kante. It's gone out for a throw in. In by Kante. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Chip through. Defending of the desperate variety. Bernardo Silva delivers. Bruno Fernandes! He's got away with one there. out to the flank oh, that's not going to make it Bruno Fernandes Cristiano it's Cristiano Ronaldo oh, good effort he got plenty on that Cristiano Ronaldo brilliantly took control of that which was exactly what the situation required oh, it's Dembele and he's Mbappe it's off target and by quite a way. France are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. Portugal are taking a simple, modern approach here. Yeah, but I'm all for simplicity, Peter. If it works, it's good enough. He's done for it! Oh, should have put that away. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. And it's Bernardo Silva. It's come through. Shoots! Yes! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. 
He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. It's starting to look like a done deal now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the through ball is intercepted. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. He goes long. Going for goal! Oh, top draw save from the keeper. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Defending, but that'll do. Has a pop! <laughs> Ruben Diaz can get it clear. Throw it. Conte brings it forward. And helps available out wide. Ronaldo finds himself offside. And that's been one straight back. And there's a long ball. Ruben Neves. That'll be a throw. A really good feat from him. Mbappe loses his balance and loses the ball. Bernardo Silva has given away a free kick. And the weighted pass, Mbappe. France with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Pepe gets it away. And it's Mondi. And that's that. France well beaten. There's no spinning this result. It could have been a whole lot worse. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? France lost their way after falling behind early. Their concentration was weakened and their character. And that's cause for address. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.